is super exciting and we're starting on the homestead part which was homesteaded by my great grandfather in 1912 so that's really really awesome the wheat looks pretty good here which is really exciting here's kind of an in cab tour we've got the throttle the button that lifts the header up and down as well as more controls this is great-grandfather used to harvest on the same field except with horses we're doing the adjusting, right? in 1912 so that's so very exciting uh, my dad is running green card today and he has a combine he had to go dump in the semi and then he has two combines to dump before he gets to me but they're still running because they're not too full I'm just too full and it's very exciting. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in Montana. It's like 91 degrees and the sky is completely clear. And that's about it. We had our wheat swathed, so it ripened a little quicker and we didn't think we'd be able to start today, but we did and that is absolutely amazing. And I'm so excited for the days to come. This is going to be the best harvest yet. I know it. That's the green cart over there and that is the combine dumping in the grain cart. He just got done, the grain cart just got done dumping the combine that you see right here that's combining now. And then I'm just waiting to dump, which will be pretty soon. And then over here, we have one of our semis going 
well, that's more of a tandem truck. That's not quite a semi, but it's still kind of similar. Going by to who's full to go put his grain in the grain bin. And that's kind of the whole operation. The combine takes the wheat out of the field. The combine, when it's full, puts the grain in the grain cart and the grain cart goes and dumps into the semi and then the semi dumps into the grain bin and it stays there until you sell your wheat and then the semis take it to the elevator which is basically a place where they store the wheat until they sell it. So it's a whole process and it's very exciting. I guess I should give you a little combine tour while we're sitting here. Up here is my grain tank full light which is on. I have my different lights for at night and that's about it up here. I have my steering wheel, which is kind of fun, and I have my throttle with the up and down lever for my header, and then I have my auger button, and this, if I pull this, the wheat dumps out, so I definitely don't want to do that until the grain cart's here, and then this turns on the back of my combine, and this turns on that header part you just saw, and then this is low throt throttle, I think turtle and rabbit, and the other buttons are just kind of the inner workings of the combine, a little bit boring. And as you can see, my, this is full of grain here. And here the grain cart is coming to dump me. So that's really exciting. And I get to keep going, so let's do this. I'm letting Uncle Chris and then the hired man go first because my combine's a bit slower so I always let them go first and I just got done dumping so I was held up a bit anyway. Just keep going down to that post by the elevator and pull in there. Got it. On video, the last row of the first day of Harvest 2020. I'll just wait till you're done with this row, Chris. The cart guy was talking to the combine guy to see if the combine guy needed a dump right now, but the combine guy is going to wait till the end of the row, the cart guy just said. I believe today, or right now, is the last bit. I think we finished the first day of the 2020 harvest, which is super exciting. And also a little bit sad, but it's always a little less the first day because you want to make sure everything's right. But it's yeah, I think it's it for the night. That's what the guy on the radio just said. So that's it because this we were surprised it was right today anyway. And a recap on the day, it went really well. I wasn't expecting to drive combine today and it ended up I ended up driving it and it's always a little new every time you drive combine, but it it's like riding a bike, you never forget. So that's really good. And Oh no, those are the bin guys and the, the bin is probably bin. full. The grain's falling out of the bin and it's the water dropped though. It's kinda of on the edge of it on the outside of the hole. So it's pouring on the outside, not because it's um it's full, it's just because it's like cut the little chip shut the loader off. It's on the outside of the bin. Cut well. the loader off. You just got to hear a little bit of the craziness of harvest. It's like running a marathon for a little over a month. And then the rest of the year seems absolutely really slow comparatively, which is very exciting. I'm just kind of looking to see what the other combines are doing to make sure I don't have to be somewhere. But it was a great first day and I'm so thankful that I have the opportunity to do this and that I have such a wonderful heritage. Well, thank you for watching. If you watched it through, that's very exciting and there will be lots of more fun videos to come.